you need you, I'll call you. Praise the name of the Lord. Go with me to Isaiah chapter 11. Isaiah chapter 11. And if you would stand with me, we will read from verse 1 uh, through verse number 5. Isaiah chapter 11. From verse number 1 to verse number 5. Praise the name of the Lord. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes. Neither shall neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor. And reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. And with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reign. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Can we get everybody out of that fellowship hall? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Last week we spoke about, if you would recall, what we spoke about last week, uh, we spoke from John 3, 16, talking that about God is uh, not only a God who loves, but God also gives. Amen. And we just bless his name. And for the rest of this uh, month, uh, we will continue looking at uh, uh, the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ in different areas of the scripture where the prophets spoke about his coming and uh, talking to us about this significant uh, event. Jesus, uh, our Savior, Jesus, our Messiah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Today we want to speak about a branch shall grow from the root of Jesse. A branch shall grow from the root of Jesse. One of the things that fascinates me about our God is the way he puts his purpose into action through the winding contours of human life with all of its complexities. It's amazing how God will work his purpose out. You have to appreciate the ultimate sovereignty of Adonai in uh, the administration and demonstration of uh, his redemptive purpose. How God worked his way through uh, generations to come to the point uh, of getting Jesus into the world. Remember last week we talked about Jesus coming to us through 42 generations. Uh, God keeping his word. God holding forth uh, uh, to the, the promise he made in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve uh, fell. That God said the seed of the woman. And we told you last week uh, that a woman does not bear seed. But God is sovereign. 